we've raised a son. We've opened our home to our mother-in-law. We have 39 years of never being alone facing a problem. We are two people who are together facing all of the challenges and all of the joys that and everybody else still in love after almost 40 years. <laughs> yeah. I see no reason why two people in any circumstance such as that should not be married. For a lot of people, it's about sex. Wendy is who she is. It's not all about her being a lesbian. She's in Jen. You know, they're wonderful, caring, intelligent people. I did have fears. Um, I did have questions. I didn't know how they would be accepted. But as the time went on, and there was, I think there was a little grieving at the beginning too. Um, I think there are a lot of people in the world who are nervous um, that a child being brought up by um, gay parents will be abnormal or weird. I think I'm relatively normal. I went to public high school. Uh, I go to Dartmouth now. I played sports in high school. I play sports here. I have friends. I have a girlfriend. Um, so I don't think my upbringing um, changed me or made me any different than anyone else. I think what we have to do is have people not threatened that gay and lesbian people are going to take something away from my own marriage or my religious experience or whatever. We just don't feel that their lifestyle is any different than anybody else's lifestyle. We don't look at it as being different, we just look at it them as people. I think the importance of family is providing an actual physical place to go home to, to feel safe in, um, to have parents and siblings um, be supportive, loving, unconditionally, um, and I don't think there's any reason why a two males or two females can't provide that same sort of support. You know, I'm a Christian, and um, one of my favorite Bible verses is in Matthew, and it says, whatsoever you do unto your brothers, that you do unto me. And I really think, you know, it doesn't say you're white or black or what brothers. It's just how you treat people, and I think we need to get to that. And if you really look at full equality, which I think that we're moving towards and we should be going, marriage has, um, would have some benefits to society to say these people really are married. In our eyes, we're married and, you know, and we should be able to have those same benefits as married couples do, but we don't.